do the another using the SQL data reader reader equals command dot execute reader command behavior dot single result and command behavior dot close connection let's do while reader dot read sales lead equals new sales lead let's go reader dot get string zero reader dot get string one reader dot get string two reader dot get string three and reader dot get decimal four Sales lead dot add object. And then lastly, return sales lead. Let's go open our form and let's add a new button. sales lead and let's add a new window a new form let's call it company sales leads let's add a grid view to it and then two buttons Call this button validate. And this button will be close. So let's write some code behind it. Make sure this is lesson six. Let's create a class variable list. Sales lead, sales lead. Let's create another constructor. Sales lead equals company DAC dot get company sales lead. This constructor is going to take a string the company ID which we will pass it here company ID and then data grid view dot data source 
equals sales lead. Let's go back to the form. Double click the closed and close. Let's go back over to our form one. Double click on the sales lead button and put in string company ID equals data grid view one dot current row dot cells open bracket zero close bracket dot value dot two string let's go company sells leads equals new sales lead company ID let's put a trim in there make it sure and then sales leads dot show dialog so let's run it at the first company click sales leads there they are at the second company sales leads they are so let's do one more thing before we start talking about encapsulation let's go to the validate button double click on that and let's type in this code count equals sales lead dot count it's making sure we have data in there before we try to access it if count is greater than zero for each so sales lead sl and sales lead so if sl dot budget is greater than 250,000 we want to change the priority Do the data grid view dot data source. We need to reset it and then data grid view dot data source equals the modified cells lead list. So let's run it. Change the priority. We were able to set the, the lead priority in this function because it is identified as public in the class. However, if we modify it to be protected and try and run it, it's going to give us an error message to say it's not accessible due to the protection level.